to see and listen to some tracks trying to calm my mind and self down. I met a young man today in North Chicago, Illinois at the gas station. Not on purpose. I was pumping, about to pump gas, about to go pay for gas. And I got out of my car and I saw him shaking so bad. He was brutally cold today. It was like 15 to 25 below wind chill. And I think it was like three below. As I proceeded to go in, I motioned for him to come here, and he came so quick, and I said, what are you doing here in this cold weather like this, bro? He said, sir, I don't have nowhere to go. You got $2? I said, what are you going to do with $2? He said, get me something to eat up at the McDonald's up on Martin Luther King Drive. It's amazing how every Martin Luther King Drive in America or Boulevard seems to be in a horrible community. So I reached my pocket to give him some money, and I had $52, and I gave it to him. $52. I went inside and I paid for my gas and my card and I went to pump my gas. He came out. He said, I'll pump that for you. I said, no, you get in the car and get more. So when I finished pumping the gas, I decided in my mind already I was going to talk to him. I said, what you got to do? I said, you have nowhere to go? You want to go with me? He said, sure, yeah. So we went up to Martin King Drive and uh, to McDonald's and I told him to get him, I told him to order whatever he wanted off the menu and I got me a cup of coffee. And I sat there talking to him, questioning him, examining him and stuff in his mind and his spirit. Healthy, healthy young man, had all this teeth, all this mind. He wasn't anorexic or didn't seem to be. He seemed to have a good mind on him. And I asked him, how'd you wind up doing this? He told me how his mom and him fight and how he cusses her out and how she cusses him out. And, and I said, you know, you can't do that and stay in the household with your mom. I said, where's your dad? He said, I don't know my dad. And someone knew the answer before he responded. I couldn't bring him home with me. And every young man that I've dealt with, man, I've always wanted to bring him home. It's almost like a pet store syndrome. You want to bring every puppy home, but they're not puppy. They are human beings. They're somebody else's child. They're lives. And I'm so affected by this. And it's not the first time I encountered a young man. I've encountered young men behind dumpsters eating. I've encountered young men in dumpsters sleeping. I've encountered bodies by dumpsters walking in Inglewood, going to do a GED class. Just unreal. And he asked me if I ever wished I had a time machine. And I told him, yeah, I have. And I wished I had a time machine right then and there. And I would go back in time and change all the horrible things that had happened to him. I'm praying for you, young man. I hope you call me. I'm trying my best to help you the best I can. I'm praying for you, young brother. God bless you wherever you are. Happy Martin Luther King Day. Peace.